Hi, I'm Stephanie Valenino, and I'm here for the final part of Lettington Library Junior Room's four-part American Sign Language series. I'm a certified elementary school teacher with a degree from Westchester University of Pennsylvania, along with two minors in literacy with an elementary reading focus and in-depth studies with a focus on both the culture and language tracks. I'm hearing, not deaf or hard of hearing, but I completed the deaf studies program and was also a tutor for elementary and intermediate ASL classes for Westchester University's Learning Center. As always, if ASL is something you are serious about learning, please utilize resources created and run by deaf or hard of hearing individuals. My favorites are here, Bill Vickers with Life Print, Hand Speak, 58 Creativity, The Daily Moth, ASL Nook, and more. In part three, we covered different types of animals. Today, we'll be covering signs for different sports and hobbies. As always, with each word, I'm going to sign it first and then talk about the five parameters of ASL, which are hand shape, orientation, location, movement, and signals if applicable. So let's get started. Starting with sports, you're going to have two hands in an A hand shape, palms facing each other in your signing space and you're gonna rock your wrists back and forth two times. Sports. Play, both hands will be in a Y hand shape. Your palms will be facing each other in your signing space and you'll flick your wrists out two times. When signing this, you can look happy like you're playing. You kinda of get your shoulders bouncing and into it and your face can look happy to sign play. Baseball, both of your hands are in an A hand shape. Your dominant hand is on top of your non-dominant hand, and you're in your signing space, kind of up near your shoulder, as if you're holding a baseball bat, and you'll do two little small pretend swings, as if you're swinging a baseball bat. Baseball. Soccer. You're going to have both your hands in a B hand shape, dominant hand facing out to the side, non-dominant facing in. Your non-dominant hand will be on top and your dominant hand will hit the other one two times. Soccer. Basketball. You'll have both hands in a three hand shape, palms facing each other in your signing space, kind of up a little bit more. And you're going to flick your wrists forward two times, like you're holding a basketball. Basketball. Football. Both hands will be in a five hand shape palms facing each other in your signing space, and your hands will come together with your fingers interlacing two times. I like to think of this like it looks like the lacing on a football, or another way to think about it is in football, the two teams of people kind of come charging at each other and tackle in the middle. So, football. Tennis. Your hand will be in what we call an X cocked hand shape. So it's kind of like an X, but it's kind of hidden a little bit in your thumb. Your palm will be facing to the side and your hand will be out to the side of you to start. You're going to swish your hand in and then back out like you're hitting a ball with a tennis racket. Tennis. Hockey. Your dominant hand will be an X hand shape and your non-dominant hand will be flat in front of you. With both of your palms facing up, you're going to move your dominant hand over your palm two times. Hockey. Kind of looks like you have the hockey stick and you're hitting the puck. Golf. You'll have two hands in that X cocked hand shape um, with your palms facing up and you'll swing your arms like you're swinging a golf club. Golf. Gymnastics. Your dominant hand will be a V hand shape on top of your flat palm. And in your signing space, your dominant hand V will jump up and twirl and then land back down. Gymnastics. Volleyball. Both your hands will be kind of in this hand shape where your middle finger and your thumb are touching. And as you kind of pop out your hands next to your head, your fingers will flick out. Volleyball. Make sure that when you are flicking your fingers out that you're also moving them forward, kind of like you're setting a volleyball. Um, because if you don't, this is a sign for Starbucks. <laughs> so if you leave it by, the, by itself, you'll be signing Starbucks. But if you move with it, it's volleyball. It's also mostly contextual to um, the difference between those two signs. But just to let you know. 
swimming. Both hands will be in what we call a B curved hand shape, where it's kind of like a B but a little bit cupped. Palms will be facing down in your signing space, and you're going to pull your arms back two times like you're swimming. Swim. Ice skate. Both hands will be in an X hand shape with palms facing up, and you'll alternate in your signing space, moving your hands back and forth two times. Ice skate. Roller skate is the exact same movement and location and orientation as ice skate, but the only difference is that instead of an X hand shape, you'll be in a bent V hand shape. Roller skate. Ski. Both hands will be in an X hand shape, palms facing up in your signing space, and you're going to be circling your hands away from you two times. Very similar to ice skate, but this time they're moving together. Ski. Snowboard. Both hands will be in a B bent hand shape, palms facing down with your non-dominant hand closest to you, kind of in front of you in your signing space, and you're going to move them down away from you two times like you're going down a hill. Snowboard. Horseback riding. Um, first, you're going to sign horse, which we learned in our animals video last time. Um, horse is an H hand shape, and you kind of hold down your fingers two times. You go from this sign for horse, and then your hand in the V hand shape goes on top of your other hand, kind of like two legs being placed on top of a horse, and then you kind of move it back and forth, bounce it like a person riding a horse. So horseback riding. Archery. You're going to start out with your hands in an L curved hand shape, which is kind of just like an L, but then you bend it a little bit to show your target first. You kind of are using what we call a classifier to show that there's this target here first to set up the situation. Then you're going to be moving from this hand shape where both of your middle fingers and thumbs are touching, your hands are kind of together, and then you'll pull it out and then let go. So set up the target, pull out and let go. Archery. Running. Both hands will be in an L hand shape with palms facing opposite directions. Your dominant hand is in front and your thumb is kind of linked with your non-dominant pointer finger, kind of like this. In your signing space, you're going to be bending your pointer fingers, kind of flexing those two pointer fingers two times while moving your hands forward. Running. When signing this, we can add expression by showing if somebody's running really fast, we can kind of puff out our cheeks and do kind of a while we do it. So for example, that would show that somebody is really running and you can kind of lean into it a little bit with your body and show it with your expression to show somebody running really fast. Walk. Both your hands are flat, kind of in a B hand shape, um, palms facing down and in, in your signing space, and you'll alternate your hands swinging back and forth, kind of like footsteps being taken walking. Walk. Dance. Your dominant hand is a V and your non-dominant hand is flat up. With your dominant hand facing down like two legs, you're going to be swinging them back and forth. And when you're doing this, you can get your body into it, get your head into it, kind of like you're dancing or listening to music when you do it, so dancing. For sing, there's two ways to do it. The first way, one of the ways that I learned was like this, with a B hand shape for your dominant hand, palm facing kind of out to the side and swinging your hand back and forth. It's kind of like a conductor um, in choirs or orchestras singing. The other way that I learned singing is by taking an H hand shape with your palm facing down, starting at your mouth and kind of fluttering your hand out. I like this because it kind of looks like the music coming out when you sing. Sing. But either way, sing or sing is up to you. Cook. Both hands will be a B hand shape, palms facing each other. And in your signing space, you'll flip your dominant hand over like you're flipping food on a grill. Crochet. Both hands are in a one hand shape, palms facing each other. 
dominant hand is on top closest to you and you'll move that hand away two times to an X hand shape. Crochet. Knit is both hands are a one, palms facing down and kind of crossed over each other. And you're going to loop your fingers in, back around, and then connect at the end. So it's a little tricky, but with your dominant hand on top, loop in and around, and then hook at the end. Knit. So, dominant hand is in an F hand shape, non-dominant is in a one hand shape, palm facing down and in, move your dominant hand up two times like you're using a needle. Draw, dominant hand is in an I and your non-dominant hand is flat. With the tip of your finger on your dominant hand, you're gonna start at the top and squiggle down like you're drawing. Draw. Paint, both hands are flat, facing each other, and your dominant hand will brush down and then back up on your non-dominant hand. Paint. To talk about watching a movie, we would say movie watch. So you would sign movie first, where both of your hands are flat, kind of facing each other, and your dominant hand does a little bit of a wave while touching your other hand. And then after you sign movie, you'll sign watch, which is kind of like an L-curved hand shape starting at your face and then slightly bumping out, like your eyes, you're focused in on watching something. So movie, watch. You could also say TV watch to differentiate between a movie and a TV show. Photography, L-curved hand shape for both hands, palms facing each other, and you'll click the camera two times with your dominant hand. Photography. Video game, you'll be pretending to kind of hold a controller with both your hands and pressing buttons. And then after that, you'll do the sign for game, which is two hands in an A hand shape and bump them together two times. So video game. You can add expression to this by looking intense while you're playing the game, kind of hunching down, show that intense look in your face when you do video game. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below what your favorite sign was today and any questions you have. Check out Lettington Library's Facebook page for future events. Thanks again for joining me for this four-part American Sign Language series for the Lettington Library Junior Room here on the Lettington Library Facebook page. Thanks so much. Have a great day.